Treasurer Josh Frydenberg joins us now. Treasurer, good morning to you on this Monday morning. morning after a very big 24 hours. Uh, hundreds of thousands of casual workers in bars, restaurants and cafes have effectively just lost their jobs. Can't imagine, well I can imagine a little bit, but what they're going through is terrible. How are you going to help them out? Well, what we announced yesterday was a $66 billion to cushion the blow for those casual workers, for those sole traders who have seen their hours worked or their income cut as a result of the coronavirus. It brings to a total of $189 billion, Carl, mm -hmm. uh, of various financial measures that we've announced just in the last 10 days alone. That's around 10% of GDP. So this will include a new coronavirus supplement of $550 a fortnight, which is available to people whose income falls below $1,075 a fortnight. A new $750 payment to more than 5 million Australians, including pensioners, people on care payments, uh, people with a Commonwealth Seniors Health Card or people on family tax benefits. We've relaxed the deeming rates for pensioners, we've relaxed um, the, uh, the minimum drawdown rates for retirees and we're giving um, people access to their superannuation by allowing them to take out up to $10,000 this financial year and up to $10,000 next financial year all tax free. Mm. So they're a very significant package of measures to support Australian sole traders, casuals, retirees, pensioners and others on income support. And Treasurer, how easy or quickly will it be for, for these um, um, individuals and also for small businesses to get their hands on the money? Because that's one of the criticisms we did see during the bushfires is the delay in getting that money to, to people who really need it. Well, people can contact um, their Services Australia, which is effectively the Centrelink now. They'll be able to make applications online and obviously if they are going to be able to, if they are going to take what is we used to be called New Start now the job seeker payment um, that will be made available as quickly as possible. We have waived the waiting periods and that's really important. We've also waived the assets test. There's still an income test that needs to to be complied with, um, but as you would expect us to have. Um, but what we have done is reduce those waiting periods so people can apply for their job seeker payment. Uh, this is just the start, obviously, and and. You need to throw everything at it, which is what you're doing right now in a really effective way. We're hearing all sorts of things about uh, what might happen down the track in, in terms of a uniform wage for everyone when businesses go out of business and people are unemployed. Um, how close are we moving towards that? Well, what you've got now uh, for somebody who is unemployed uh, with this new job seeker uh, coronavirus supplement and the traditional job seeker payment is at least $1,100 or more a fortnight mm. that will make its way into people's pockets um, if they find themselves in that situation. Uh, so we are very conscious that people need to still meet the cost of their groceries and other bills even though they might be stood down or they might have lost their job or their hours worked have been reduced. At the same time we're providing unprecedented amounts of incentives to small businesses to actually keep their staff on and what we announced yesterday uh, Carl was up to hundred thousand dollars for small businesses uh, linked to the size of their wages bill and I think that's another important thing that we're doing as well as wage subsidies for businesses who have apprentices and that will support 117,000 apprentices uh, and various other things we've done on the regulatory front. So we're pulling out all stops to support the economy at this okay. time. And just very, very quickly, should parents be sending their kids to school this morning, yes or no? Well, parents need to make their own decisions about that, but what the schools will be doing is obviously remaining open uh, and depending on the, the state, will the length of the, uh, the term. But there was an agreed position at the National Cabinet last night, which the Prime Minister clearly stated, which is that the, the schools after the term break are expected to come back, but that will depend on the medical advice at the time. But I know schools are also making provisions uh, for people to, uh, to, to learn from home as well. Josh, we know you have to bounce. Thanks for your time today. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll try and get Josh back in the next couple of days to answer some of your questions at home. I know you have some burning questions, and it'd be great for him to come on and try and get through some of those as well. Well, just ahead, time is ticking.